Welcome back everybody. Today's video is just going to be like a relative quickie um, all about multimeters, which is an extremely boring topic. So before I lose your interest, let me just quickly cover like the single best improvement I've ever made. It's like using a multimeter in the shop. Um, in my little cooler here, set to 18 degrees Fahrenheit right now, I've got all the test leads I own. Uh, the very first set I bought is this kind of set from Klein Tools right here. And after that, I upgraded to a second Klein meter. Here's the leads from that, as you can see. Then recently, or I'm not sure, almost a year ago now, I actually bought this Fluke meter, but the leads that came with it were actually the worst leads I've ever owned. Here they are. So I, about three months ago, decided to upgrade to this set of Fluke leads. And as you can see, the advantage is quite obvious in that even in like cold temperatures, these leads just stay extremely supple. So let me just quickly cover what I think makes these leads great, why this is such a benefit when you're using a multimeter, and then we'll just dive into some of the specifics about this. So for me and maybe quite a few of you out there, we'll keep our multimeter in a little, you know, case like this, soft cases are nice. You probably wind your leads around your meter. So the leads I had before, you know, you basically got to untangle them because they're just such a pain in the ass. They have all this memory, they're not very elastic. Maybe you'll put this on the edge of your engine bay somewhere. And then as you're trying to get a measurement, just the lack of maybe suppleness in these leads. It's like dragging your meter around, it knocks it off. And this is just like such a fundamental pain in the ass that, you know, in retrospect, I don't know why it took me like more than a decade to upgrade to just some leads that, you know, aren't as cheap, but now, you know, anywhere I put this thing, I can essentially maneuver my leads anywhere I want. And it has like no impact on the meter. It just makes things so much easier. Additional things I really like about these leads is they've got these little retractable insulation sheaths. So if you're like poking around somewhere kind of uh, delicate or you don't want to short something out, you know, you can play the game of just a tip, just have like the very tip exposed. But if you've got like an outlet receptacle, you can just retract this with a twist and then you can just stab it in wherever you need and you can just get that lead nice and deeply in there. The old leads I had, you know, they accomplished these by like these removable sleeves. Um, these fluke leads I have still have this, and this does work the same way and function right. You can just put these little covers on, but for me, neither of the old Klein leads have their covers anymore. I mean, I would lose these in basically the first time I ever took them off. So this system has the same function, but it's just not practical. For me, I just lose those covers. So these little twist insulation covers, I think are just a real benefit. So I absolutely love these leads. And then the very last thing about them, any kind of leads that you have, I would seriously recommend sourcing some little like alligator clip adapters. Uh, these that come made by Fluke for these leads are really nice high quality, but you can essentially just push these on. And then if you're like working somewhere, you know, you can clip this to wherever you're getting half your measurement from. And then that lets you just manipulate one lead independently. You're not dealing with trying to kind of hold two leads at the same time. So these little alligator clip adapters, I think have just been absolutely fantastic. And that is an upgrade I'd recommend to anyone who spends a lot of time tinkering. But the other reason I wanted to make this video is actually talk about this multimeter, uh, the Fluke 362, which is actually one of their most basic multimeters that they make. And I think to kind of best explain why I absolutely love this multimeter is to kind of go back in time and kind of describe how I arrived here and the kind of work I do. I basically work 99% of the time with like DC voltages, DC amperages, like DC circuits, DC systems. Uh, so AC measurements, uh, you know, maybe 1% of the time I use my multimeter, am I, you know, switching on to some kind of AC measurement. So if I can get DC voltage, DC amperage, and then like a simple continuity test, that's all I need for the work I do. If you're a licensed electrician or you just do more advanced things, then uh, that may not cut it for you. But for me, that's what I've come to learn. That's all the function I really need. So if we go back in time, the meter I had previous to this was the Klein CL800. And even earlier than that, my first multimeter I bought was actually the Klein Tools MM200. Uh, this multimeter served me great for, uh, I'm not sure, 10 years maybe, the total time I had it. You know, it's like the first multimeter I really bought. And then one day I was talking to a friend who does appliance repair, and he mentioned that he had a clamp meter like this, but it actually did DC amperages as well, not just uh, AC amperages. And that's super handy when you're like troubleshooting something to be able to just like clip this around a power cable and get a reading of how many amps, whatever device you're kind of troubleshooting is drawing. That's when I bought this meter and I was like instantly kind of attracted to all the bells and whistles on it. You know, it's got functions that I don't think I've ever used like Hertz, just not something I do. It's got a diode test. It does have a temperature sensor you can plug in, but honestly, 
most of the functions, you know, I just like read that marketing language, like, oh, wow, all these cool functions, but I actually don't use any of them. I think if I did more like handyman household stuff, it has a non-contact voltage setting, so you can kind of test if you've got live circuits and stuff. And all of that is really handy, but just like not for the kind of work I do. And then the thing that drove me nuts about this meter um, is it's basically designed, it seems like for AC work, uh, household work, and like the DC side of it is kind of an afterthought. If you wanna to go to voltages or amperages, you gotta first select one of those two modes, and then you have to hit select to then switch over to DC measurements. It always defaults to AC measurements, and there's no way to just like make a default to DC. And I think nothing is more frustrating then thinking you've got this on, setting it somewhere, prodding your way into some measurement through the sheath of some wire, only to like look over at the screen then with both your hands in some awkward position and realize, ah, oh, like I'm not getting the measurement I wanted. And for some reason, my brain could just not reprogram to press that select button consistently. I think part of that is because when you go to the continuity measurement, you don't have to press anything, but if you go to amps or volts, you have to press something. Even worse, when you go to the amps and you actually select the EC, it doesn't zero out, so then you have to press and hold this to zero the measurement, and it actually starts to uh, it starts to move around quite a bit. So usually within a minute, you're about 0.1 amps off, and that's kind of frustrating. So that seems like something they could have just programmed better to be like every time you select DC amperages, why can't you just pre-zero out the measurement? I don't understand why it's so cumbersome. It's like a three-step process to arrive at a single measurement. So then when I found this fluke meter. It basically took away all the features of that that just weren't helping me. It's literally just got five functions off, AC volts, DC volts, continuity and resistance, um, then uh, AC amps, and then DC amps. This is just super simple. So the measurement I want, it's always just like one motion to get the thing I want. So this thing I've absolutely loved. And it's like, there's just not very much to say about it. It's just simple. And I've come to really like this meter. It hasn't let me down. The simplicity keeps me from being frustrated. And then when I've paired it with these leads, I've just loved working with it. I wish I would have bought these leads earlier. I think regardless of like which meter company you have, most leads are interchangeable these days. So even if you've got a Klein meter, I don't know, a field piece or whatever, upgrading your leads has been like the most beneficial thing I've had with multimeters. So anyways, kind of a quick video today, but just something I've been, you know, something that like bounces around my mind of something that makes my work process quite a bit less frustrating that I share it today. So thank you everybody for your support and thank you so much for watching.